Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Now, off screen, I did do a few things, in case you can't tell by my uh, increased ancient magic bar. Um, I did also run around and gather more of the um, Merlin Trials. So we now have uh, an increased... Oop, there we go. Inventory spot, spots, uh, slots for our gear. So hopefully I don't run out of space again real quickly. Um, I did get a new broom as well, the Night Dancer broom. I think I actually got that on screen. Um, but I also did buy this. Not really my style, but if I was playing a Slytherin, I'd, I'd definitely rock this one. Um, I like the blue on this one, Ravenclaw. You can actually get this by finding... where is he at? can't find him. The traveling merchant we saw, uh, well, here he is. You can get him by finding Leopold Bobcock. Um, he'll have it for sale in the shop. It's expensive, 5,000 galleons. But, you know, if you're a Slytherin, like I said, rock it. Um, other than that, I didn't do much. I did reallocate uh, a, lot of, a lot of my, uh, Bavarian monsters. Um, I have my Hippogriffs, Nifflers, and Thestrals, and my bird. I gotta get more of those in the uh, forest and my unicorns toads and measles over in the uh, coastal area so yeah we're doing pretty good um, I do plan on of course moving them around again later but yeah um, from what I've been reading about the vivariums let's actually pull up this so I can show off what I'm talking about here we are. Um, here's all the current monsters I have. I'm missing two. I know what they are. Um, due to the number of vivariums, you, we have enough to actually have all beasts in uh, each of the areas. It just, you know, it comes down to how many you want. So, you can have four up to twelve. Uh, four species up to twelve. So, you can have... Oh yeah, I can see that, yeah. The three variants here, and I think the last one is uh, unique. Actually, hold on, no. No, yeah, no, never mind. <clears throat> so yeah, um, we get four variants, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, we have two of them already. So we have enough of this, plus this, and plus our own special one for whatever we want. So yeah, that's kind of cool. But that's pretty much all I did off screen. Um, I did upgrade my the look of my place a little bit, but that's about it. All right. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I'm also getting better at flying. The uh, difference between, by the way, um, the broom and the magical beasts. The broom is faster. And more agile, but beasts can um, turn into ground mounts or flying mounts, or just have a ground mount um, that can fly higher than any broom can. So it comes down to what you need your mount to do. Since I'm kind of just trying to be nimble getting around quickly, I'm using my broom more. Let's go. Be attacked by something. Let's go. Let's just go. Nope, gotta fight. Come here. Stop with your love, yourself bullshit. You think you're going? You started this. I landed. The beast is safer now. Alright. 
Well, let's go check this out. Oh, 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 my friends are going to be pissed about this place. That's right. My friend knows me way too well. Um, he, I, I was watching him play and doing some, uh, uh, Merlin Challenge and whatnot, uh, while he was playing. And he was in the Forbidden Forest. And I just made the offhand comment of going, oh, hey, I, I recognize this place. And he just pauses, like his character just stops, and just goes, I don't like how you said that. <laughs> the reason why I remembered it is because the, it was around the Acclamantria. Or Acclamantula. Are you in here? And he, he doesn't like spiders. I don't like... I don't freak him. I don't. I don't. You know, pick on him with that. But uh, it's it's fun to tease him a little bit. He teases me about my snake thing. Oh fuck! Come here. There we go. Got my ear. Ugh. Ugh. No. Pop off. Oh gods. Come here. So. Come back here. Finally, level up. I've been trying to level up for a while, but just wouldn't. Whoa! That's an Acumantula. Okay. Sure. Why not? We'll check something quickly before we head out. Spiders may not, I may not be an arach I'm arachnophobic, but, uh, it, it doesn't mean spiders don't freak me out sometimes. Looks like I can go over here. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, it's a way around. Or a way back, I should, uh, the back, uh, the way back. So, so far in my opinion, level design, outside of, you know, Hogwarts, the world map, and Hogsmeade, uh, these individual little caves, I really like. I wish the, um, treasure caves, the little small areas with, like, one treasure chest at the bottom of it, were more in-depth than they are, because currently it's just, you open the door, you go down the stairs, that's it. And the, the puzzle to open the door is nothing. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. Must have headed deeper into the cave. So I wish they would have uh, done something a little bit more with that. Keep it going. I think I might keep Glacius there. Rebellion. I've been meaning to update my uh, battle. Uh, my, my battle one, uh, my battle skill tree uh, lately, but I just never got around to it. Warhorn Club, nice. That was not smart, buddy. Thirty-two, not bad. Ah, sorry, itchy ear. <clears throat> All right. Kill it with fire. I don't like how they pulsate. It just ugh. Rebellion. Give me this. Clockwork Fedora. 
muggle. Sorry, it's just the fucking Medora. Yeah. Uh. Also, to be fair, any spider big enough to, you know... Basically, if I could hold... If I, if I have to use two hands to hold a spider, that spider's way too fucking big. And not because it's being... It's, it's you know, wiggling around a little bit. If it's too... If it's big enough to where I have to hold two hands to hold it comfortably, then no. Oh, God! Matriarch. Off. Come here. Don't care. I'm doing good. It's only one level ahead of me. Remember when I started this game and I sucked at fighting? That's if you're looking for Taz, it seems he's has dried up all the leeches and must be moved deep into the caves. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. No, it did not. Right. That's death. Oop, hold on. Motherfucker. I want to pick up horklumps, not spiders running my face. See, so yeah, like, if a spider's bigger than my head, fuck off. Thought that was vines for some reason. The screams fight. <sighs> Let's go. That's Nakimantula. Bury its head in the ground. Oh boy. He's got the strong, by the way. Right, um, let's see here. It's off. There we go. I'm trying to make clear room. Oh, Defendo. Uh, uh, Cindio. That probably work on it. Right, um. Oh! Okay, let's get the casual. Defend, but hey, I had my R2 up. Ow! Acumantas are bastards. <laughs> Fuck that noise. Alright, uh, let's see here. Go back to that. I did fight the infamous Acumantula as well over in the forest. Um, at some point. There was a quest that took me over there, and I was like, eh, it just seems pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna do it off screen. It was still a nasty fight, though. Which makes me glad that this, this thing was actually here, because it means I gotta show you guys it. I was worried that uh, I wouldn't find another one. Actually, it might not have been infamous. It may just be an Acumantula. Anything 
hidden down there besides small chests I don't really need. Oh, hey! I have a feeling that house elf is tall. Now she finds out by the big spider was too much. Top is filled. Aww! Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> Rebellion. And fuck that guy. Tops was a good elf. Deserve better. I'm trying to get to that so I can get in. Leeches. Yep. Do need a few leeches. I wish we could take him and have him buried. God damn. This. looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Yep. Let's get out of here. God damn that acumantula though. Just out of nowhere. Alright, Hogwarts. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly, and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if... That's all right. Of course, Deke. Take your time, man. <sighs> Fucking asshole. You good? All right. Oh yeah. Uh, quick update on my stuff. I did find something kind of cool while I was out and about. A little house. Where is it? There it is. That is it. That's it. It's a shiny needle. Look at the big, the big poof ball. I found it when I was out um, exploring. It's really cool. All right, Shadow of the Bloodline. Let's do this. This the quest? That's the quest. You should always do the side quest, in my opinion. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, Sebastian. Hey, buddy. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't what? agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. 
Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. I'll take your time, be calm. That is fucked up, doing that to your own kid. Nothing hidden up here that I didn't get. No. Alright. Quests, let's see here. Well, let's attend astronomy. I was honestly expecting more of a cutscene. Or more, not cutscene, more of a, uh, event. I don't see anything else. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takara. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the Highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? Nah. 
Dismissed. I love her robes. Those are gorgeous. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Cool, we're getting this quest done. Rebellion. I really I love her, Professor Shaw's outfit. It looks so 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 good. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Like I love the design. Can I talk to her? I can. Night for stars, Professor Shaw. I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, Devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. I actually had a, a massive fascination with astrology when I was younger. Professor Shaw is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. <laughs> I really enjoy uh, stargazing. I actually had a telescope when I was a kid, and oh, it was so nice. Don't know what happened to it. I think it broke when I uh, moved. The perfect night for. Oh, hello. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you it? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? I'm really curious about what this gives us. In the long run. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. 
Onwards we go. The Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Centaurs are uh, in the universe are known to uh, <sighs> do that. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. Yep. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Uh, they were known to uh, predict the future with st stars. At night, is it? The Godstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Alright. Hmm. A little for Gordon. A few cobwebs will see dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, hello. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. I'm almost done with all those. God damn. It's been taking forever. That. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Don't oh, worry, no. I've killed two Akimantula. Close to the school, Emmett. Look, there's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Okay. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I see. Oh, this is cool. Dira. Oh, it's a lair. Nice. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. He's kind of explaining Japanese a little bit, too. Not all in the throat, but the R. He also can be speaking, he also can be talking about Klingon. That's funny. <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower. All right, so what do we get for that? Curiosity. I'm assuming it's going to be clothing. Yeah, it's clothing. That's cool. Doesn't bother me too much as just, you know, a cosmetic, because, you know, the cosmetics in this game are great. What a view. Um, does it. Ooh, hi. I held that out. First things first. Um, do they appear on the maps now? Or Club, Spinner's Cavern. See any? Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Okay, let's actually go. Let's go do one real quickly, just just for the hell of it, you know. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? In a bit. I'm actually going to check something right quick. That's right, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to zoom in to find them. That's annoying. Boop. Alright. Actually, it's going to be this way. Yeah, I see it. There we go. Draco. Oh, it's really nice. You know what? Let's, uh... Do a quick one of these. See what type of uh, stuff we're getting into with, um... 
this outfit. I should have a few of them unlocked so we can get them done quickly. I've always said that travel Oop. broadens the mind. And I have found a few, uh, I should have found of at least five, uh, astronomy tower, uh, uh, tables already. And they are fairly simple. They're not like the ones from, uh, Origins. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Yeah, I see it, I think. Yeah, I see it. Leo? Yeah, Leo. These are really good drawings, too. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. There we go. Also, that'd be a little more difficult. I see it. Right there. There we go. Centaurus. And one more. There it is. Like I said, I had them all done already. Or, not all of them done. I had them marked. This also give us a good uh, understand, a good guess of how much the uh, things will increase. Not this way. That should be about right. Scorpius. Right, that's all the astronomy ta tables for that one. Exploration. Five. This one was five as well, so just five, ten, fifteen. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at that gear. It was a scarf, I believe. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm definitely gonna spend time off screen getting that. Alright. Not sure how I can I'm gonna save right quick just to be, you know, safe. were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Alright, let's finish this first. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. This is going to be a long quest, isn't it? Why did he challenge that horrible man? Are you alright? We're looking for Mr. Brickle. My husband? is dead he killed him oh i'm terribly sorry mrs bickle who killed your husband theophilus harlow i'm sure of it he's been threatening my husband for weeks and oh where is my son where is our 
I don't mean to be grim, but could Harla have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bittle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickel. We will bring Archie home. Yeah. I wonder how old this kid is. Sounds like, like, you know, um, six or seven. About Mr. Bickel. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Harlow, isn't that the, isn't that the, the um... Guy that I was working with Rookwood. Me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Serious. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. Very good. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? You know, <laughs> Archie Bickle. If I was a kid, I'd definitely have a, uh, uh, my own personal hideaway hide next Someone to the remains of a dragon. Revelli or maybe our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! Like, I would love to just make a uh, base inside the skull of a dragon. I oh. thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about Revelio. killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Let's sprint. Wolves, prepare for a fight. Potato. I was trying potato, but uh, I got stuck in the animation. Off. No. I hope we didn't cross paths with that back. We should look around. Oh, there's still some tracks. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. All right. Kind of wish I came out here at night so I could see the, the footprints better. I must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Toadstools? That's a flu powder. A fork in the road. Revelio. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. Nope. They went this way. Can we they all stay going forward, though? Huh. Hi, Thestral. That's not a good sign. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? Oh, where's my... You can see Thestrals, too. Oh, shit! I witnessed death when I was nine. For my first Thestral shortly thereafter. 
I found comfort in it. I'm so sorry, Thestral! I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. Oh, poor Thestral. I'm, tr I'm trying to see if there's any shiny ones. I'm sorry you experienced something oh. like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I. Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Yeah. Stags. I understand. Ah, sorry, it's your ear. Alright then. Um, just back to this for now. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. Oh. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. Yep. Gotta be careful. <laughs> t for a second there. You see nothing. Uh. That. I hope they locked him in the furthest depths of that tank. Come on. They got what they deserved. What else here? No. Okay. So this is another Merlin task, by the way. Um, to solve this, all you need to do is flip this cube with the uh, Flipendo spell until they match up the symbols, pro uh, the symbols properly. Very simple puzzle. Rebellion. I would do it, but it'd take a while, so we'll do it later. These are definitely uh, destroyable. Yep, they're on the inside. Touch on the inside. That complicates things a little. Put that there. They want Mandrake. Okay. We got this. It happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unwanted attention. Not wrong. Just keep it going. Nothing. The root of the problem. I like that trophy name. Nah, I'm good. Hit 
give me a drop. Press that. Not fine. Is that the best you can do? Come here. You up there, buddy? There you go, buddy. I freed you from your hell. Nice try. I'm coming, I'm coming. What the hell? Oh, it's a bathroom! Rapscallion garb. Man, I could be a Rapscallion? I'm coming, kid. How do I find you? There you are. Now, I'm just kind of curious what that looks like. Uh, gear. Clothing. Eh, again, I would like it better without the uh, skirt. I love this outfit design. I may change it into that later on, but for now. Archie? Archie Bickle? How do you know? Avelia, your mother sent us to find you. Oh, but I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. That's fine. There we go. I'm Uncle Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Ye. Yeah. Hello? Oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger, just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know some things. Thank you for your help today. Not a problem. Alright, so we're going to have to call it here because we're uh, the next quest uh, is going to take a bit of time. So, hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next time. We will continue from here. Um, I may change up my outfit. We'll see. But until then, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.